they are really really dangerous so i just got a call from a buddy of mine they just found a coral snake i told him i'd like to come take a look at it so i'm gonna head over here and take a look and see what they found okay so he's literally inside of that one, that one yeah hold on hold on pull that other brick out of there just pull it Right there. Oh, he might burrow. He's, no, he's, right, he's right there. Do you see him? Yeah. Yeah, okay. All right. Flip it over and sand it up. Here, just pull that thing back out in the open. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. It's stuck nice. You're going to have to convince it to come out. Come out. Here, snakey, 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 snakey. All right, Curtis. We finally, we finally got him back out of the woods. Wow, what a challenge. This guy right here, they are really, really dangerous. So I was just trying to keep a hold of him here. And they have very small fangs. Not want you to actually get a hold of you and bite and kill. But they but they are they're really beautiful specimens. Their color is more the warning for you, more so than actually trying to strike you and, and kill you. They're more inclined to just flee or burrow, which we found that out first too. Now they do also, they prey a lot on frogs, other snakes, bugs, uh, things like that. So um, they're a great part of our ecosystem. They're wonderful to have around. Don't do what we're doing to fool with them. Yeah. If, you find, if you find one, let them be. But uh, just want to show you guys this beautiful snake. Let's see his belly one more time. Yeah, he has it's little awesome. spots, yeah. little spots on his belly. Wow. Are you from this area, Curtis? I sure am. As a matter of fact, this was a job site that we're working on. Uh, we destroyed a, an old abandoned house and installed a brand new house. And we just happened to find this guy while we're out here working. And um, we found a bunch of uh, animals, as a matter of fact, yellow rat snakes and kittens, all kinds of stuff wow. like that. But this has been one of the, the, the premier finds. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, so I guess that goes to show you that if you have a lot of clutter or rubbish or stuff on the ground, correct, you're yep. more inclined to have things like this coral snake or other keeping, snakes. Keeping your property clear of underbrush, debris, and stuff like that is something you really want to do to help hedge off the um, the fact that you could have these snakes laying around. Right. But uh, just want to get you guys to see this one more time. This is really great. I mean, that's a really beautiful snake. Now what you doing, Alex? This is tailing the snake because I don't want to force pin it behind the head because that actually, it's really hard to do with a snake like this with a very slender neck. It doesn't have a broad jaw like a lot of pit vipers do. Um, it is a highly venomous snake, so being the most venomous in North America, you don't want to get bit by this. And we're not that close to the hospital, really. Just taking out of there. But, uh, not with the coronavirus, there's no traffic yeah, on the roads. I don't even know if I want to go to a hospital right now. I'd probably leave with a worse condition than when I got there. But, uh, yeah, so aposomatic coloration. Red on black, friend of Jack, red on yellow, kill a fellow. This one obviously has the red on yellow. I will say the Scarlet King Snake is typically more vibrant red than the Coral Snake, and Coral Snakes come off a little darker in color. Coral Snakes have a blunt head versus a pointy, speared head. Um, coral Snakes are obviously venomous. Just a beautiful species. Really a pretty so snake. snake. And he'll be released into the wild, unharmed. But for educational purposes, we just wanted to show you guys this beautiful snake and, and kind of inform you and educate you about this particular species of snakes. Definitely. I mean, we did try to contact some venom uh, people who actually, you know, know the venom, but probably because of the virus, there's nowhere to be found right now. That's correct. We called the UF Department of um, Wildlife and Ecology. very uncommon that you'll even get bit by that snake. I don't think there's very many reports. Very few. 
Oh, I still don't want his head anywhere close to me, though. Yeah. I don't blame you on that. He's tired? Hold, hold him high. Yeah. So with reptiles, they exert their energy quick, and they tire out, and they're done. And you could probably free hold this thing, probably. That was great. That was yeah, a great shot. You. Thanks, man. That was a great shot. Do y'all want to hold on to him for a little bit longer and just see if we find anything out? Let's let's put him in the bin, call a few people. Sure, sounds good. We'll go from there. Yeah, that's see fine. What they say. Great idea, Alex. It's getting dark. We're just going to let him go. You want to do the honors? Sure. Let's put him like, you want to bring him out a little further from the house maybe? Yeah. Just so he's not right on the house. Put him right here. Bring my camera just because. Yeah, we're going to let it go. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we just wanted to show you this snake. We're going to go ahead and turn him loose. Looks like he's probably built some energy up. He hasn't been exercising here in the last couple minutes. There he goes. I mean, how odd is it that in the last two months I found two, well, ran across two coral snakes. Y'all found this one, but just, I mean, I've never seen one for 10 years, and then all of a sudden you see them two in a couple months. That's kind of encouraging as far as, like, conservation goes, and we'll see you next time. Yep, make sure y'all hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks.